my Nile. Always so good with arts and crafts, just like your dad was. Though I must admit you've got a much wilder imagination. Shane always stuck to the classics, stars and baubles, you know. Yeah, dad loved all the traditional Christmas tropes. Adored the stars. And the woolly stockings by the fire, right? Ah, there you are, just in time. Have you had breakfast yet? Niall and I baked a fresh batch of biscuits. There's warm milk too. <laughs> That's right. Niall's a dab hand at it too. Everything he makes is brilliant, even without magic. Mom. Always so modest, my boy. Go on, tell us what you're working on this year. I was thinking of making another puppet. It's about the only thing I'm any good at. Well, I'm open to requests. It is your first Christmas with us. Huh? Mm-hmm. Thanks. I'll think about it. Pointless decorations again, is it? Can't believe it's that time of year already. Why have you stopped making those bunny baubles, boy? You used to make them every year. Said they were a symbol of magic for those who don't have it. Who are you remembering me as this time, Morvan? I've never made a bunny bauble in my life. But the imagery's actually pretty accurate. I might give it a go this year. Why don't you join us? It's a Golding family tradition to make all our Christmas decorations by hand. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. You've got some fierce competition, Niall. Now, if you wouldn't mind adding the topper... You don't want to do it? You're the student here. Probably need the practice. Besides, Niall was right. It is your first Christmas with us. It's a I love Christmas. The sights, the smells, the sweets. Come Christmas, the whole house will smell like warm spices and brandy. Wait until you taste my figgy pudding. Boulder Dash! My dear, I've seen your recipe, and it contains neither figs nor enough brandy for my taste. Hush, Morven. I told you yours is already starting to turn. It should be quite ripe come Christmas morning. Oh, perhaps I should check on it. You're making him a mouldy pudding. Call me old-fashioned, but I want everyone to be happy on Christmas, even if it stinks up the house. I'm off. Don't wait up. Niall? You're not going to stay? There's still a few ornaments left to hang, including your father's. Dad made this when I was five. I haven't seen it in years. It does a little dance whenever music plays. Oh no, don't worry Niall, I can fix it. I said no, Mum. Why would you listen to me? I'm just trying to help, Niall. I don't know why you won't let me do something nice for you. Are you that mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Huh? I have to go. Shane was much better at this, at communicating. He always knew the right thing to say. It must be hard without him around. Very. We're trying. But Niall spent so much time away at school, sometimes we have a hard time connecting. You sent him to a muggle school? Yes. He wanted to go. And Shane and I thought it was best for him. It can be hard living in a magical community. Not all wizards are kind to squibs. Have you talked to Niall about it? I've tried to. He says he gets on well enough, but he doesn't tell me everything. I offered to help with his show, but he didn't like the idea. No magic, he said. Or maybe just not his mum's magic. Sometimes it feels like he's shutting me out. Like I'm losing him. Aunt Glenna. 
sorry. This old witch worries too much sometimes. I hope it's not a bother to you. Mm hmm Thank you. I just wish I'd found you sooner. <laughs> of course! Speaking of Christmas, have you seen the decorations in Hogsmeade this year? I hear they're especially grand. Hello, cousin. Come to watch me wallow in failure, have you? Uh, no. Should I leave? Stay. It's fine. Have a seat. Sorry, but I have to ask. Why do you come here? The Shrieking Shack is not the most friendly place in Hogsmeade. It's quiet. It gives me a place to think where no one will judge me. Plus, all the ghosts make an excellent captive audience. <laughs> right. I think that's just a rumor. But I'm glad you've got somewhere to practice your passion. A passion? For puppetry? <laughs> that sounds about right. I do like bringing them to life with just my hands and some string. I saw a show at school. A Punch and Judy, they called it. Love made my first puppet the same day and never looked back. Not really. I watched a lot of puppet shows and practiced. A lot. Basically, I taught myself. Lots of tangled strings, believe me. A few, but just for muggle audiences. They went well enough. Mostly just fairy tale stuff. I tried one of the wizarding fables Dad used to read me, but it didn't go over so well. Wizards aren't usually the heroes in muggle fairy tales. I'm sorry. You must really miss him. Yeah. He was supportive of whatever I wanted to do. He didn't care at all that I couldn't do magic. But he also didn't try to hide it from me. Like my suitcase. Dad put an extension charm on it, so I could carry everything with me. Oh, and that's okay? Why wouldn't it be? Just because I'm a squib doesn't mean I can't use something magical. I'm not afraid of magic, you know? These are from a wizarding story, aren't they? Yeah, those are the brothers from The Three Brothers by Beadle the Bard. That's the show I want to do, if the locals will let me. Have you heard of the story, by the way? Of course. It's about three wizards who use magic to cross a treacherous river. Death, feeling cheated, confronted them and offered each a reward to disguise his true intent. But of course, the reward was to disguise his true intent of claiming them later. Each brother's fate was sealed, depending on the reward they chose. If I could just add magic to the show... Wait, you were here. You could make the strings invisible, or add some fireworks, or make death's eyes glow. I really don't think you'll need that. Your skills are impressive enough, Niall, and I'm sure once people see them in action... Yeah, yeah, they'll be amazed. You sound just like Mum. But they won't be amazed without magic. So, you'll do it? I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm planning on leaving the village soon. This might be one of my last shows here. Well, for a lot of reasons. For one, a show without magic doesn't really stand a chance in a wizarding village. Even if Mum and my cousin think it's impressive. So, um... Will you help? Mm-hmm. Excellent! This is going to be the best show! Yes, it's definitely going to be something.
I want the power to recall others from death. This stone will do as you wish. Oh, Niall, it's so wonderful. I love it. Thanks, Mum. It's so alive and beautiful and passionate. And, and you, Niall, you're so talented. It's more impressive than any magic. Though I did notice you haven't trimmed your nails in a while. And your hair, it's getting a bit long. I could fix it for you. Mum, you were supposed to be watching the show, not me. See, I told you no one in this family actually pays attention. Of course I was paying attention. It was just lovely. All those puppets, you made them, didn't you? I knew you could do it, Niall. But you'd handle them better if you just trimmed your nails. Mum? And I couldn't help notice a touch of magic in the show as well. Oh, not really. Niall's artistry is so impressive already, it doesn't need much. No, what it needs is more magic. Lots more. Yes, absolutely. People are going to love it. I can help. Two wands are better than one, right? Uh, no, I think we're fine as is. I don't want things to get too complicated. You understand, right? This is your show. You should do what you want. But maybe I could help promote it, if that's all right. Uh, sure. You could make a flyer or something. I'm going to go work on the third brother. I want to get his character just right. Oh, Niall. And don't forget to trim your nails and tidy up your hair. Thank you. I haven't seen Niall this happy in weeks. I think his confidence just needed a boost. He really is very talented. I know. Foolishness, if you ask me. Morven, please don't start. It's absurd is what it is. Outsmarting death. But that's the moral of the story, isn't it? That any attempt to put off death is doomed from the start? Hey, I don't know from morals, but folks will start getting ideas, thinking they can live beyond their years, thinking they can cheat death. But you're, um, you know, a ghost? Don't bother, dear. Irony is not in Morven's wheelhouse. I think people are going to love it. Niall is very talented. Is he? Figured he might be overreaching. Wouldn't be the first squib. Always trying to prove themselves. I feel sorry for whomever Morven encounters next. They're going to get an earful of his awfulness. Is he always this angry? Well, ghosts can't really change, can they? They're just an imprint of who they were when they lived. Morven comes from a time when being a squib meant living on the fringes, at best. Many were cast out, estranged even from family. It's better now. Not perfect, but better. That explains why he's always a bit harsh with Niall, even if he doesn't mean it. Morven's always rather grumpy. Coming from such a different time doesn't help either. How dare you! How dare you speak ill of the greatest Merryweather to live under this roof? I did no such thing. I only mentioned that Dad, like you, Morven, was a product of his time, and times change. Perhaps if you spent more time celebrating your ancestors and less time talking to an empty picture frame, you'd understand. Get out! I don't want to see you right now! No, I don't think I will. This is my house. Come on, Morven. You know how Mum gets around the holidays. Don't be so daft. Daft? Daft! Of all the... My boy, you do not know your place. I'm pretty sure it's between you and Mum. Yeah. 
you mentioned this time of year being difficult. Is that because of your dad? Yeah, he died right before Christmas. Adds a bit of sadness to the holiday. I'm sorry. Thanks. I wish Mum would get out more, meet some new people. Well, the right kind of people, I mean. The right kind of people? What does that mean? Huh? Oh, sorry, I just mean more people like you. She's actually been better since she met you. Really? I'm glad. And I can't wait to introduce her to my side of the family. Speaking of, I need to get back to school so I can start packing. That's okay. I need to work on the puppets anyway. Don't forget to work on your spells and incantations and whatever. I want some special magic for the show. Right. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can come up with. Put on a puppet show, cheer up Aunt Glenna, introduce the family. That's a lot to do before Christmas. What's that supposed to mean? It means one should exercise caution prior, so freely making promises, especially to new family. I guess I'm just more trusting than some people. Or ghost. You don't know the first thing about trust, or this family. I could teach you a thing or two. Oh, the stories I could tell. Great! I think that's a fine idea. What is? You teaching me about my new family. I accept your offer. What? I haven't the time nor the inclination to do any such thing. Now I must be going. I have business in town to attend to in town. Good day. Well, I guess I can try to add story time with Morvin to the list. I just hope I have the time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.